Hi, welcome to Groupism Tutorials. My name is Amir. In previous session, we learned about different sessions in session management. In this session, we will learn what is session variables and also we will learn how to work with session variables in session management. First of all, we will see what is session variable is. Session variables are nothing but data items which are exposed outside of the process diagram. These session variables are applicable to sessions while running processes. Session variables are specific to the instance of the processes. If two instances of the same process are running at the same time, they will have the same session variables, but session variables will have different values. We can edit the value of the session variable while running the process. Now we are in the Blue Prism virtual workforce. Before going to run the test calculator from the control room, let me go ahead, let me make the small changes to create a session variable. Let me go to studio. Let me open test calculator. If you see over here, I'm having two inputs, input X, input Y. I'm having a addition stays over here and I'm having multi calculation stays over here. Let me go ahead, let me open this. If you see, I'm going to add input X plus input Y plus result and I'm going to store the result in result. And after that, I'm going to increment the value of y, i equal to i plus 1, and I'm going to store the value in i. Why I'm doing this? Every time that I'm going to add all these values with the result of, with the result, and then I'm going to store the result in result value. If the iterations are less than 1000, then it will go to end stage. I'm going back to control room. If you see, I'm having text calculator. If you see over here, I want to edit at the runtime of the process. I want to get the session variables into this control room. How can I get it? As I said, data items with exposed, which are exposed is nothing but session variables, correct? Let me go to test calculator. These are all the data items which we have. Let me double click on that. If you see the exposure over here, exposure having three types, one is static, environment and session if you see that if we are going to select static it is going to store in the database if you are going to environment all over the environment we are going to give the values environment variable values from the system manager but now in our session we are going to use session session the exposed data item to the control room this is the one which i am going to selecting right now this is nothing but session variables and i'm going to say okay and also in the same way, I'm going for the input Y. I'm selecting session, exposure the data to control room. And also, I'm going to select result also to show the output. In the same way, iterations, how many iteration has been completed as of now. I'm going to session and I'm going to say, okay. Now, let me go ahead, let me save the changes. And I'm then I'm going to click on save changes. Now I'm going back to my control room. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to run this process from my sessions, okay, onto my available resources. If you see over here that you know the test calculator, the session ID has been created. Now let me go ahead and let me show the variables, but I can't see right now because of these session variables will be appear at the time of running the process. Now let me go ahead, let me start the process, start selection. Before that, I'm going to show session variables. These session variables will appear at the time of running the process. Okay, now let me go ahead, let me start the process. Now if you see, these are all the session variables I have given as exposure as session. You can see the number of iteration, i.e. the number of iteration it is increasing, and input x, input y. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the same thing and I'm going to drag once again onto my resources. Now you will find two sessions over here, right? Let me go ahead, let me start that one also. Now if you see, each and every session will be different. Okay, if you're going to select anything, any session ID over here, okay, based on that, that the values are going to be changing. Now what I'm going to do on my 
latest ID, I'm going to change the input value, editing the value, and I'm going to make it as 2000. I'm going to give it as one, two, five, some values that I'm going to, and I'm going to modify it. If you see the value or changing it, when I'm going to particular thing, it's already completed, but still I can go ahead and I can see the output over here. Correct. Now, if you see the iterations are not yet completed and even we can edit the values at the runtime by using the session variables and the outputs that we can see very easily by using these session variables. I hope you got the, you got about the session variables in session management. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.